Now we are going to learn about the slave or the Mamluk dynasty which was the first dynasty out of the five dynasties in the Delhi Sultanate. So how did this Mamluk dynasty start? After Muhammad Ghori's death, his slave Qutbuddin Aibak established his independent rule in India in the year 1206 CE and this is how the Mamluk dynasty looked at that point of time and Lahore was their capital. So Delhi was not their capital during Qutbuddin Aibak's reign. So the dynasty that was founded by Qutbuddin Aibak was known as the Mamluk or the slave dynasty. Why so? Well, because Mamluk is the Arabic word for property. So his dynasty was also known as the slave dynasty because slaves were considered a property back then. In fact, he had also constructed various beautiful monuments which have survived the ravages of time such as the Kuwatul Islam Mosque which was the first mosque in northern India. Not just that, he also constructed the Rai Din Ka Junpra. You must have heard about the very famous Qutub Minar. So he began the construction of Qutub Minar in the honour of Qutubuddin Bhaktiyar Kaki. However, before the construction could be completed, he fell off his horse while playing Chogan or Polo in the year 1210 CE. So, he was the ruler of the Mamluk dynasty for just four years. Next in line was Shamshuddin Iltutmish, who was Qutubuddin Aibak's son-in-law and he was also a slave. He had been brought from Persia by Qutubuddin Aibak. So, he was himself a slave and he also established his own independent rule in 1211 CE, one year after Qutubuddin Aibak's death. Now, during Qutubuddin Aibak's rule, Lahore was the capital, but under his rule, he was the first Muslim ruler to make the city of Delhi his capital and thus, he is also known as the real founder of this Delhi Sultanate. Not just that, it is said that he was a very wise ruler. And how do we know that? Well, because Iltutmish saved India from a possible Mongol attack by refusing to give shelter to Jalaluddin Mangbarni, who was running from Cengiz Khan. He even formed the Turkani Chahalgani or the Chalisa, which was a group of 40 people who were all noblemen who would help him out with his administrative duties. Therefore, he formed a new class of nobility. In fact, it was Shamshuddin Iltutmish who first introduced Arabic coins in India. Before this, only the use of Sanskrit was found on coins. However, he was the one who introduced first Arabic coins and the copper coins were known as Jittal and the silver coins which you can see here were known as Tanka. So, what were the silver coins introduced by Iltutmish called? Jittal, Rupaya, Tanka or Mohar? The correct answer is Tanka. His silver coins were known as Tanka. Shamshuddin Iltutmish was the one who completed the construction of the famous Qutub Minar and he also constructed the tomb of Iltutmish where he was finally buried in the year 1236 CE. After his death, Razia Sultan, who was his daughter, came into power and she was the first and last woman emperor of India who came to power in the year 1236 CE. However, just four years later, she along with her husband were killed while fighting against a revolt and so in 1240 CE, near Kaithal in Haryana, she passed away. After Razia Sultan, many weak rulers came into power. However, after a certain point of time, Balban came into power and gave himself the title Giyasuddin. So his full name now is Giyasuddin Balban and he became the Sultan of Delhi in the year 1266 CE. Now, according to Gyasuddin Balban, the kings were actually representatives of God and they had to be authoritative. So, they were not people who had to be questioned, right? So, they were representative of God on earth. And so, it is because of all of such theories that he started the practice of sajda, which is lying prostrate in front of the sultan or the ruler. 
and even pai bows which is kissing the sultan's feet as a mark of respect however balban died in the year 1287 ce and with him the rule of the mamluk dynasty ended in the year 1290 this is how the mamluk dynasty looked at the end of its reign so we have learned about the four famous rulers of the mamluk dynasty it was started by qutbuddin aibak in the year 1206 after which his son in law shamsuddin iltutmish came into power after which razia sultana came into power who was his daughter who was the only first and last female ruler after which giyasuddin balban came into power with whom the mamluk dynasty finally ended after which another dynasty known as the khalji dynasty came into power about which we are going to learn in the next video don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon you can also register for free on deltastep.com or download the delta step app and get easy access to more than 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus master each topic with our adaptive practice technology get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests get all your doubts resolved instantly learn via games and get a chance to win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy it's rewarding too so Register for free now.